Hey y'all, the real Jimmy Roberts one here, just checking in with you to let you know about some stuff that we got coming up. In fact, if you know how to look up uh, Mars Rover imagery yourself, you need to uh, look up day 2749, that's Soul 2749, Martian Day Soul, and uh, kind of check out what's going on there because in the next couple of weeks, we're going to do a live show with Dave Gannett and hopefully a few other people. And we're going to put our heads together on this like we did uh, not too far back. It was Chris Maroney and Dave Gannett and myself. And when we put our heads together like that, it, it really works out well, we found out. And we want you to help, too, because it's going to be live. And uh, there's other ways you're going to be able to help. And I'm going to show you that in a minute. But let me give you a preview of what this area looks like. Okay, this is a uh, composite navigational camera image. And uh, we really like using these a lot because they're not as heavily obfuscated as the mass cam images are, as we've discussed before. Now, this may look like an innocent enough image, but it's not. Just like all of the rest of them, it's not. Things are very well hidden, and I think you're going to be amazed at what is going to come out of this. Now, we're just going to scan across it real quick to give you an idea of what we're looking at. Okay, this is a 40-foot uh, tall rise. Uh, we've already measured that. And as we move in this direction across here, I want you to notice something in the back. You know, we've talked about that uh, river channel that I've claimed is running behind all of these hills and other things, buttes, that uh, the rover is uh, following along on this uh, uh, voyage. I believe this is that water in the background, and we'll show you that in 3D. We'll bring that out even more. And as we move this direction, it really starts to get interesting, interesting, I can pronunciate. I want you to take a really good look right back here, and I haven't measured that yet. We're working on that. And right here at this, do you see the similarity in this object and this object? Now, I realize this is a flat 2D image. We don't have a lot of contrast on it, and it's very tough. But there's something specific going on right here and right here. And you need to think about it like this. We've talked about how these buttes, as they're calling them, and by the way, these along here are 50 feet in height. Okay? We believe these were channels, possibly water channels, even though the water is behind it now. And there seem to be entrances. Somebody give me the terminology. But... They will be lined up as just like this back here and this here. They will be parallel to each other along the fronts, either down here on the ground or on top of these buttes. Every time we see these buttes, and the buttes will be parallel as well. They are channeling, they were channeling something. And as we keep moving to the right, it continues to get interesting. Do you see this? Okay, now you may say, well, hey, Jimmy, that's just a, uh, a trick. This is a flat 2D image. I've already looked at this in stereoscopic 3D. And uh, no, this is all one piece, almost as if it's snorkeling into the ground, okay? And as we continue to move right, we're going to skip over a lot of this stuff for now. But we're going to be taking a special look at this object right here and see what we can do with this and bring this out even more. Uh, that's really quite incredible. There's a lot of detail still on it. And there is another one right about here. Okay. And uh, there's a lot more. We're just going to bypass for now. But as we move along here, I don't want to leave this guy out sticking out at this angle. This whatever that is. Really strange looking rock, isn't it? Don't you think? Anyway, just to give you an idea of what we're going to be looking at. This image is not nearly, nearly as boring as you may first think it is. We are developing a Mars forum on, on MarsFam.net. And this is going to be for everyone, where you can share the images that you find. Uh, we can talk back and forth. The forum is not up yet. It, I'd say it's probably about a week away. I've still got a little bit of work uh, yet to do on it. But um, let me go ahead and show you what it's going to look like, basically. This is our Mars Forum, and 
as you can see right now, there's only a few people posted in there. Uh, myself, my alter ego, I think Dave Gannett, we've been uh, doing some tests on it. Uh, Marsha and Missy down here. Uh, she's got the secret password. And what you can do right now, though, is go to the main page. Don't, you know, just ignore this goofy guy down here. And you're going to see a login now. Okay, that's new. You can go ahead and set yourself up with a username and password and go ahead and set your preferences if you want to. You can't get into the forum yet, but you'll be ready here in the next week or two when it comes up. Uh, you're probably going to want to go in there and set these preferences to whether you want emails or not when people post. I usually turn all of that off because it can get to be a real pain in the you-know-what. Uh, this down here, enter your email for upload notifications. That's still the same as it was before, and that is the same down here. That is just so you'll get an email when, you know, a video goes up. And we did that because of the fact that a lot of people say they're not getting notified when we post a YouTube video. Most of the time, that's not really somebody playing a trick on us. That is because you're not going in there and telling it. When you subscribe, you've got to go hit that bell and personalize it, okay? And you can say, you know, notify me on everything or just notify me on this person. I don't upload that much, so you can go in there and tell it to do that. It's probably not going to harass you, but people forget to turn that on. They claim it gets turned off. Well, you just need to go check and make sure that that's on. Otherwise, you can put your email in here, and we will email you when something goes up. We're going to try to make this a centralized location for evidence, for documenting evidence, size, measurements, 3D, all that stuff. And uh, we think that forum is going to be a way to really allow you to help, because there's a lot of you out there that really like looking at this stuff. And, uh, you know, you've sent us a lot of good stuff. You've really helped me. We're really trying to document the evidence that is there, and there is plenty of it. So I'm, I'm going to let it go with that. Oh, speaking of Marsh and Missy, do you remember the time that she actually sat in this chair for just that one brief moment? You know, we got to get her to do this more often, and she's going to be in that forum here and there, and you can tell her this stuff. You know, yes, that's my wife, and uh, that is a brilliant woman right there. She really is one of the smartest people that I know. But that is Marsh and Missy, but the thing about it is she's really from Venus. We all know that. So one last thing before we go, it's kind of funny, actually. Uh, recently, we had this guy just, I guess he's walking around the neighborhood, going door to door. He just walks up in the front yard where I was working. He's trying to tell me something. I don't know what the hell he's talking about. And then he goes around to the backyard where Missy was working out by the pool and starts talking to her. The security cameras got him. We have audio on our cameras, too. And um, I don't know what he's talking about. Maybe you can help me out. It just seems like a really peculiar guy to me. Anyway... Uh, have fun with it, and uh, we're, we're going to see you real soon, folks, all right? Hey, look at it. So I learned about roaches. I learned about kids jumping on my lap. Exacerbating the need for environmental, for environmental justice. Sorry, as a bug. <laughs>